Robinson. I'm 63 years old. I'm the mother of three children and my younger son is gay. Morgan came out when he was quite young, he was only about 13, uh, he's 25 now, but during that time I realised that there was quite a big difference in his situation compared to his brother and his sister and I wanted him to have the same rights that they had. So I joined a group called PFLAG and since doing that I've been working very hard with them to try to bring about changes particularly towards same-sex marriage and I volunteered with PFLAG which led me to Quack. While I've been here I've managed to learn quite a lot about what Quack does they quite have a large umbrella that different services are under. Um, it's a wonderful group of people that work towards educating the community, supporting the community, looking after people that need help. Not just people that need the help themselves, but also their families as well. People that are HIV positive, the support that they give is absolutely wonderful. I'm very disappointed in the cuts to their funding because I believe that this is an incredibly important work that they do. I think that young people will suffer because they won't have anywhere to come to ask questions, to learn about their sexuality, their, their needs and things that can happen to them during their journeys. Well, I think in the long term it will affect people who aren't gay too because most people do have a family member, a friend, a neighbour, someone who is gay and I think that they becoming HIV positive that these people do need the support around them of their family and friends and without anywhere to go for straight people to ask the same sort of questions is very difficult. I know that there'd be a lot of um, telephone inquiries from people that have had experiences that may not necessarily identify as gay, who are embarrassed to go to their family doctor to ask questions of, of family and friends, where this is a safe place for them to come to do that. And without it being here, I think it's going to lead to a lot of depression, a lot of problems in the community. Um, with that people are just absolutely left with nowhere to go. Our youth, particularly, is everybody's concern and the LGBTI youth that need this support and help, that perhaps don't have family support, they need somewhere to go, they need somewhere they can ask questions. This is what we should be thinking of, this is what it's all about, supporting and learning and looking after each other. It matters to me. It matters to me. It matters, it matters to, to us. us. Bye.